This is the lock picking lawyer. The lock you see in front of you is a Goethe Euro profile cylinder. It is a, a dimple lock, but it has a little bit of twist to it. In addition to the normal six active pins, you can see on the bottom there are these two little spots where the lock housing has been drilled out and little brass plugs have been inserted. And I've seen some disinformation on the internet that these are additional active pins. And I've even seen advice on how to pick these active pins. And it turns out they're not active pins at all. I've taken half of this apart so I can show you. They're passive pins, but a little bit different from what you might be used to seeing. These are actually spring-loaded. Let me put a key in. And when a key is the correct key is in, they are flush with the surface because they line up with these two additional cuts in the key. However, if the wrong key is used, they pop out just a little bit and they keep the key from turning. Now, I don't know if this is poor machining or this is intentional, but there's little lips on these that have the potential to catch on the housing, the lock housing. So if you do end up pressing them down, they will catch and they will not let go until you release tension. So avoid those bottom pins. So I'm going to put this in the vise and we are going to pick this and I'll take it apart and show you the rest of the pins. Okay, I've got this guy chucked up in the vise. Let's pick her open and then we'll gut it and see what's inside. Okay, got a little click out of three. I think I got a click out of four and then I bound up on five. Okay, got a big click out of five. little counter rotation and a click out of six. Little counter rotation, a click out of one. Nothing from two. Okay, I hit three. We dropped into a deep false set and got my pick stuck. Let's see. I think two is giving me counter rotation and we're open. Okay, let's, uh, hmm. my tension wrench is stuck in there as well now. Yeah. Well, let's lock him back up again then. There we go. Okay, let's take the clip off of the hair. Okay, and then get the key. Okay, let's dump these key pins. One standard, two standard, three is standard, four is standard, five is standard, six is standard. On the core, we have, looks like an anti-drill pin here, and then an anti-drill plate. Let me get this out, some sort of core insert here. There we go. I'll put him down in the number eight slot so we can look at him later. And then on the bottom we have those passive but spring-loaded pins. Okay, let's take a look at the active pins. Okay, number one is a spool, two is a spool, 
three is a not sure what to call that looks like a standard but it has a little narrowing at the end four is a spool five is one of those standards that narrows again and then six is a spool as well Okay, let me give you a close-up of everything. Here's the pins inside of our Gerda dimple lock. The key pins are all standard. Driver pins 1, 2, 4, and 6 are spools. Number 3 and 5 are standards with a little bit of narrowing at the end. In slot 8 we have an anti-drill plate. And then we can see in the bottom of our core we have the two passive but spring-loaded pins and some drill protection up top. That's it for our Gerda dimple lock. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.